Hey, what's going on all you fellow tube heads out there in YouTube land? Evil Eddie coming at you again today, also known as Cyber Ray 1976. But of course, you guys already knew that. And uh, I've got a pretty big DVD Blu-ray update for you guys to do today. I've got uh, 21 DVDs. i got only got one Blu-ray in this update, which I'll save for last. And i um, got some really good stuff. Got a lot of really good deals. i got most of these out of either my local pawn shop for $2.00 or at my local flea market for just two dollars and uh, some of them are even steel sealed in the plastic and has never even been open and I uh, just couldn't pass up some of these awesome deals so uh, without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it got a lot to cover a little short uh, little amount of time to get to uh, get it all covered so I'm gonna go ahead and get, get started um, the first uh, couple movies I got are actually movies based on comic books. Uh, I already had this one on VHS. I went ahead and picked it up on DVD. Traded the VHS to Movie John 75. Woo! And uh, the first one is Spawn. Uh, based on the popular Todd McFarlane comic book, long-running comic book series. Um, a lot of people bash this movie. I actually enjoyed it. I went to the movies and seen it when it first came out. I thought it was awesome. I still like it. I, thought, I still think it's a great movie. So, uh, yeah, Spawn. Uh, the second comic book movie I picked up was um, Watchmen. Um, I have seen this one. I enjoyed it. thought it was pretty, pretty faithful to the... Uh, it's uh, based on a 12-issue comic book series uh, put out by DC Comics, uh, written by Alan Moore, who's a British author. Uh, it's regarded as probably the greatest comic book series ever written. The movie's, and the movie is actually pretty good. Uh, the next one I picked up, uh, like I say, oh, I've got all these at my local pawn shop. I picked up all these for two dollars. Uh, I picked up Forrest Gump. It's the two disc special edition. I used to have this on VHS. I got rid of it. I gave it to my mom because she wanted it. So I just went ahead and picked up the DVD. I'm sure most people have probably seen Forrest Gump. It's, in my opinion, the greatest movie Tom Hanks has ever done in his entire career. Uh, speaking of uh, classic movies, great movies, uh, this is probably Al Pacino's greatest movie. Uh, and, it, and it's held, you know, regarded as a cult classic among gangster movies. Uh, it's Scarface. Um saw this movie years and years and years ago and uh, I was a kid when I saw it <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to sitting down and watching this again actually it's been so long since I've watched it uh, also as an interesting side note I think this movie still holds the record for uh, dropping the most f-bombs in a movie I think it's uh, like 240 maybe 250 times they say the f-word in this movie so uh, yeah Uh, okay, got a couple of uh, couple of really good comedies. I like say I found all these also at my pawn shop for two dollars. Three of my favorite comedies here. I picked up Adam Sandler's Happy Gilmore, the special edition, which I, I think is one of his funniest movies he's ever done. Uh, probably, if not the funniest movie I think he's ever done, along with uh, Billy Madison. Also picked up a double feature here, uh, Major Payne and Sergeant Bilko. I picked this up mainly for Major Payne. It's one of my favorite comedies. I have never seen Sergeant Bilko, but I know it's based on, uh, I think it's based on an old TV show, which I've never watched, by the way. But uh, yeah, really happy to find this for two bucks. And the next one I picked up, uh, I had this on VHS, and I give this, I give the VHS to my mom. And uh, this is the unrated, more dumber than ever version of Dumb and Dumber. This includes six additional minutes that was never before seen in the theater. And I haven't watched this yet, the, the unrated version yet, so I'm curious to see what the uh, the new features are, the new scenes are that I've never seen before. Okay, uh, moving on. I picked up, uh, I already had part one, two, and four of this. I, I needed the third one. Even though it's my least favorite in the series, 
I went ahead and picked it up. I, I still I like it. I just not as crazy about it as I am the first two, and it's Blade Trinity. Um, I can say good things about this movie, and I can say bad things about this movie. It's it's okay. Um, like I say, uh, it has its flaws, but you know what movie doesn't? Uh, besides, you know, Jessica Biel is not bad to look at for two hours. I can no matter how bad the movie is. All right. Uh, speaking of comedies, uh, here's another comedy that I've been wanting to pick up on DVD for quite a while now. It's an '80s comedy classic with Rodney Dangerfield, Bill Murray, Chevy Chase, and it's the first Caddyshack movie. I haven't seen this movie in years, and I'm looking forward to watching it again. Okay, moving on. I picked up uh, this at the pawn shop for two bucks. All of these so far I've picked up at the pawn shop for two dollars. Got Mirrors Part 2, and I have seen this, and it's great. Oh, I wouldn't say it's great, it's very good. Um, almost as good as the first one. I thought it was actually a, a really good, strong sequel to the first one. Um, it's got a good storyline. I liked it, I, I, I liked how it ended, uh, and um, I hope they make a Part 3. Uh, a lot of good gory death scenes, a lot of blood, a lot of gore, and uh, it's pretty good. Next one is a double feature, uh, still sealed in the plastic. Got Joyride Part One and Joyride Part Two, which uh, I've seen the first Joyride, have not seen the second one yet. So I'm looking forward to checking out the second one because I really enjoyed the first one. Even though I heard the second one wasn't quite nowhere near as good as the first one. Alright, picked this one up at the pawn shop. Steel sealed also, never even been opened. It's John Carpenter's Big Trouble in Little China with Kurt Russell, Kim Cattrall. Uh, I had this on VHS, went ahead and picked it up for two bucks. Couldn't pass it up for two dollars. Uh, it's one of John Carpenter's classics from the 80's. Alright. This one also still sealed in the plastic. I found this for two bucks. Uh, even though I already had all of these individually, the, this is the four film favorite collection. It has all four Superman, original Superman movies. I went ahead and got rid of my other Superman movies that I had individually. Kept this takes up a lot less room on the shelf. And I picked up Die Hard 1 and Die Hard 3. Even though I already, I already had these on VHS. I wanted to get these two because these are my two favorite out of the four. One and three are by far my favorite. And I'm sure most people have seen Die Hard. And if you haven't, then What's the matter with you? Okay, a couple of cool horror movies I picked up for. Uh, picked these up actually at my local flea market. I uh, got these for two dollars, and they are picked up the collector from the good folks that brought us the Saw movies. And if you like the Saw movies, you'll like the collector more than likely. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's a horror and kind of a suspense. Kind of a thriller. Uh, I actually liked it. I'm looking forward to part two. The part two is going to be called The Collection. And it should be out, I think, sometime later, I think toward the end of the year. And I saw this movie years ago. And I'll admit, when I first seen it, I didn't care that much for it. But I think now that I'm older, I think I can appreciate it a little more, I have respect it a little more, and it's from one of my favorite directors of all time, Stuart Gordon, who brought us Reanimator, From Beyond, Dagon, Dawes, and a ton of other movies. It's Castle Freak. And this is a full moon movie, and I am a sucker for full moon movies. And I, I think this is actually kind of rare on DVD. 
So I've decided to give it another watch. Alright. Okay, uh, I already had the first one on DVD. And I've uh, been wanting to get the rest of them on DVD. So, and I found Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 2, Secret of the Ooze. And TMNT, the newest one, which I really enjoyed. Thought it was great. The only one that I don't have on DVD is Part 3, Turtles in Time, which, as we all know, it sucks. I have it on VHS, but I'm in no hurry to get it on DVD, because I'll probably, to be honest with you, I'll probably never watch it again. Okay, and uh, that's all I got at the flea market. Now, the next couple I picked up, uh, this one I actually got at my local mall. It was 13 bucks. It was the last copy they had. Um, it was normally 13 bucks. It was on sale for $5. I had it on VHS. I went, I went ahead and picked it up on DVD I, since I had the first one on DVD. And it's Return of the Living Dead Part 2. Uh, it's almost... Think of it as it's almost like Evil Dead 1 and 2, whereas Evil, Do, Evil, Evil Dead 2 is kind of like almost like a remake of the first one, but with more. This is kind of the same thing. It's almost the same story, but uh, more uh, campy, more comical, uh, more cheesy, I guess. But it's fun, nonetheless. Uh, I, I enjoyed it as much as the first one. And I love that cover art, man. I'm so glad they kept this cover art for the DVD that was the original VHS art because I hate it when they switch a movie over to DVD and uh, they change the cool cover art that was on the VHS. I hate that. So classic, classic cover art right there. I would love to have a poster of this. Alright, uh, I actually went, recently went to Best Buy and bought myself a new laptop computer. And while I was there, I took a stroll through the movie section, found this for $13, couldn't pass it up. It's pure terror. It has 50 classic horror movies from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, which is right up my alley. Over 68 hours of terror. Has Bela Lugosi, John Saxon, John Carradine, and a ton of other famous horror actors. I haven't got to watch any of these yet, but it comes on 12 discs. I mean, I couldn't pass up a great deal like this. 50 movies for $12.99. It's awesome. And the last one and I'll have in this update is my Blu-ray. And I wanted to save this one for last because this one's the most special to me. I got this one for Father's Day. My little girl got this for me for Father's Day. Uh, I had to work all day on Father's Day, and I come home from work after a long day, and I found this waiting for me. And um, I couldn't wait to watch it. And uh, she picked, she knows what I like, and she knows I'm a big comic book fan. And uh, she, she picked this up for me. It's Green Lantern, Emerald Knights. It's an animated movie by DC Comics. And uh, if you're familiar with Green Lantern at all, uh, you'll know this is more uh, focused on the Green Lantern core, not just Green Lantern himself. It's part of an intergalactic like police force that Green Lantern belongs to. And it's like six interlocking stories, and each story focuses on a different member of the Green Lantern Corps. Not just Hal Jordan himself, even though he is in it. So, uh, yeah, I watched it, and I enjoyed it. Um, personally, it's not the best animated movie that DC's put out, but it's by far from being the worst. So it kind of falls in between for me. Um, but uh, nonetheless, I really enjoyed it, and I appreciate my daughter thinking of me and get, getting it for me on Father's Day. So there you have it, Green Lantern Emerald Knights. Oh, and as a side note, just recently saw the Green Lantern movie. I know the movie's recently getting a lot of criticism, and a lot of people are bashing it. I personally enjoyed it. I, did, I really didn't see a lot wrong with it. It has its little flaws here and there, but it, you know it is what it is, and I, for what it was, I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. So, uh, there you have it, the, uh, my newest DVD Blu-ray update, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, thank you guys for watching my channel, for uh, supporting my channel, and uh, subbing, commenting, and uh, be sure and tune in for uh, the next DVD update. We'll see you guys soon.
Peace.